Hey, Michael Church, Crawl Space Ninja, continuing that Crawl Space Misconception series. And today I want to talk to you about is insulation required or needed if you're encapsulating the crawl space? Whenever we're going out to do an inspection on a crawl space, many times the topic of insulation comes up. We like to insulate and air seal crawl spaces, but some of our competition out there, in order to try to save money to the consumer or to the homeowner and make themselves look better on price, is they will completely eliminate the need for insulation in the crawl space, saying that the vapor barrier becomes the insulation, okay? So if you've got a crawl space contractor or salesperson in your home telling you that the vapor barrier will properly insulate the crawl space, that just is not true. As a matter of fact, code requirements and the Department of Energy requirements are, especially in the South, you have to have an R value of R10 on the foundation wall minimum. Hey, Michael Church here. Real quick, I wanna share two things with you that we've got going on here in Knoxville, Tennessee. Number one, I encourage you to check out the Ninja Cabin. We are making this cabin available for people that are interested in staying in the Gatlinburg and Sevierville areas around Dollywood and things like that. It's a beautiful cabin in Wares Valley, Tennessee. I'm going to put a link to that down below. And also, we're going to start doing a live feed. So that way you can talk directly to me at the end of every month. We're going to be featuring a live feed. So make sure you check out the link below for the live feed coming up at the end of every month or an R value of R19 in the subfloor minimum. So if they created those R values and those minimums, depending on uh, the South and the region that we're in, then the vapor barrier meets neither of those minimums. If you install a vapor barrier on the foundation wall, it probably doesn't even have an R value, although some may argue it has a little bit just because of its thickness. So you want to make sure that if you're encapsulating the crawl space, if you're sealing the crawl space, you can insulate the foundation wall. If you are having an open or ventilated crawl space, then you need to insulate the subfloor. And we've done several videos about why and the code requirements for each of those. And you can check those out on our channel. But I just wanna make sure you understand, if you're going to encapsulate the crawl space, make sure insulation is part of the encapsulation. I'm Michael Church, Crawl Space Ninja. Hope you make it a happy and blessed day, and we'll see you later.